Hi Virgo, this is your August 2018 love and relationship reading and you had a jumping message card this month and it is healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Now, okay Virgos, so this could be you that has this issue, but I'm feeling like it's external to you. I'm feeling like your partner has some issues and you're trying to show him or her some love and it's just not coming across to them, okay? Um, the messages that I'm getting from Spirit with this card is that it's not that they don't want to love you. I'm feeling like they don't know how. Um, when it says your love life benefits as you forgive your parents, I'm feeling like maybe they didn't have the love that you had when you were growing up or someone didn't show them love so they don't really know what love is. Um, possibly they didn't have their mother or they didn't have their father but you know they don't really know how to properly love someone and receive it and it's driving you crazy because you're trying to show them this love and you're trying to give them all of this energy all this positive energy and everything like I'm feeling like for some of you even though this is a general reading and it may not resonate with each and every Virgo out there, you're trying to offer someone everything that you have. Like you give them your all and yet they still push you away. And it's bothering the hell out of you because you're like, what the hell is your problem? Like I, I give you all of me, everything I have, I give to you. And yet you still push me away and it's not enough. But Spirit wants you to realize that this is not you. It's not about you. It's not your problem. It's not your issue. This is about your partner. Okay, and if this, like I said, if this is not you feeling this way, Virgo, this could be your partner feeling this way about you because these readings go both ways. But someone has some issues and they're making it hard for you guys to move forward in a relationship or a marriage because they just don't know, like they don't know what they want um, out of life. They don't know what they want in, out of a relationship. And it's just, like I said, it's just bringing the relationship down because you're thinking like the more I do or the more I try this is going to make things better and it seems like it's just getting worse okay but spirit is telling you to allow this person to heal themselves you may have to actually step back from this issue now I'm not telling you to leave your partner you know if that's not what you want but you may just have to step back from all of the issues that they have and stop trying to fix it okay because you trying to fix their problem they're letting you do it, but it's really not helping and they're not doing anything to um, heal themselves or, you know, fix the issue themselves. Okay. Yeah. See, the next card that you have is trust and it came out in the reverse. So I left it this way because I'm feeling like for some of you Virgos this month, like you don't trust this person. If you could throw them in front of a moving train and, and then save their life at the same time just to make them get it, <laughs> you would. Okay, I'm feeling like some of you just want to push somebody out of a damn window and then meet them at the bottom with a parachute because you don't want them to die. You just want them to fucking get it. And excuse my language. I'm sorry, but I'm just saying like I feel the frustration when I was shuffling the cards. You're like, why don't you get it? Like, what else do we need to do to make this work? And if we're not going to make this work, then I need you to get the heck out of my life because you're bringing me down. Okay, so some of you could feel that way about um a marriage or a relationship okay yeah see someone like spirit is telling you, i'm telling you the universe is telling some of you to let go of control issues stop trying to um fix it because this person whoever it is it could be male or female allow this situation to unfold naturally because they're going to learn their own lessons in time now it's up to you if you want to stick around but for right now like you can't help them Okay, now if someone walked away from you and if you're wondering if they're coming back, Virgo, you did get the reconciliation card. But let me just be clear with you, just because this person is coming back doesn't mean that they're healed or doesn't mean that things are going to change. You know, I'm just feeling like they may be codependent on you because they know that you have their back. They see that you're the only person that can put up with their crap and still love them at the same time is what I see here. Okay, so if you're wondering if someone is coming back, I see that they are, but brace yourself um, because you're going to have to learn how to like pull away from the situation a little bit and just watch, you know, and let them heal themselves and let them help um, themselves out. Okay, yeah, because it's frustrating the hell out of you and you can't seem to understand why. 
All right, so you had two other jumping cards from your tarot deck. Um, you had the magician in reverse, and you had the high, you had the um, the priestess. I'm sorry. Now, with the magician reversed, someone is manipulating you. Whenever you get this card in the reverse, someone is being very narcissistic, very manipulative. It's like they're trying to work their magic on you. Um, they're trying to get you to stick around. Um, and deal with all their foolishness and their buffoonery and you're like with the priestess you're like no my intuition is kicking in really really high and it's telling me that something's going on here and it, it could even be a third party situation like I'm just like this partner that you're dealing with Virgo they have a lot of stuff going on in their life and it's like they're in and out of your life one minute they're telling you that they want a relationship with you and that everything is going to be good and that you guys are going to work things out and then the next minute they're gone okay and like i said this is a general reading so it may not apply to each and every virgo but for some of you i'm feeling like you're struggling with your partner this month because they don't know what they want and they're driving you crazy in the process because they're telling you that they do and that they want you so you're like okay fine let's work on a relationship because you said you know you wanted us to be together but then they're they're showing you something totally different okay but you know it per this um priestess like you you know what's going on and you're just struggling to deal with it okay all right so those were your jumping cards and let's just get into your reading the first two cards that i have for you is the three of swords and the lovers all right virgo so some of you could be dealing with an air sign gemini libra or an aquarius and you may be waiting for this person to make up their mind about what they want to do concerning this relationship. I'm seeing a lot of that this month um, with the different astrological signs. Like, I'm thinking while you're waiting for this person to make up their mind about whether they want this relationship or not, they know you're waiting. So they're taking their time. And per this... Um, priestess card which is all about intuition you're starting to to feel it you're starting to get it like they're not working on themselves they you know they're out there doing whatever and i'm just sitting here waiting on them to come back while they're playing games and i'm feeling like this is breaking your heart because you're really torn between leaving and staying i'm feeling like this person flip-flops and runs in and out of your life making promises that they don't intend to keep okay some of you could have met someone and things were going good for a while and then they disappeared for no reason at all they didn't say anything they didn't text you they, they didn't tell you anything they didn't send any type of message they didn't go in your dm nothing and you may be waiting to hear from them and it's breaking your heart because you thought you were in a good place with this person okay like i said it also could be a third party situation here and let me just say this um, I don't know everybody's situation out there, but let's be clear. When someone walks away from a relationship, they're not walking away to sit in their room and be by themselves or to just sit home and be by themselves. It's somebody else in the mix and they're just not saying it. Okay. So with this three of swords, there could be a third party situation going on and you're just not aware of it. All right. So the next two cards that I have for you is the five of cups. And you have the two of coins. A lot of you are dealing with a situation um, in your love life where things, they're like up in the air right now. Because you don't know where your relationship stands with someone. It's like you're feeling a lot of hurt and sadness, Virgo. Some of you could be dealing with an earth sign, such as yourself. Um, another Virgo or a Taurus or a Capricorn or a water sign, Cancer Pisces. I'm sorry, a water sign, Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio because of the cups but you know this person i'm feeling like somebody is juggling two people you and someone else um because they have no idea what they want right now and even though you may not have seen anything some of you you may have saw something something you know that is telling you to trust your intuition like if you found out something and you're just not sure because you don't have all the details but you do think your partner is cheating this priestess card here is telling you to trust your intuition and you know what you feel in your gut is probably right they're probably out there doing something that you don't know about and you just don't want to face it because you don't want to deal with the heartbreak okay yeah so and also, when you get the Five of Cups, it's like 
trying to get over someone or something that somebody you know that they've done to you but you don't see the two full cups in the back so i'm feeling like for a lot of you you have other options but you're hanging on to this one person because they're familiar to you um you you could have you know you could have been with them for years and it's just you know this person maybe it's your children's father or your children's mother and you're just not ready to walk away from the situation yet but you know that this person is not on the up and up you know that they're doing something sneaky yeah see because the next two cards i have for you is the four of coins and the knight of coins so some of you you don't want to let go of someone okay um some of you are holding on to an earth sign who's taking their time making a decision you know virgo taurus or capricorn male or female and this person is moving slower than you would like okay and i'm feeling like it's pissing you off and the reason why I say they're moving slower than you would like, because the Knight of Coins is here. So it's like they're coming in and they may be trying, but they're taking their time doing so. Whenever you get the Knight of Coins, first of all, Knights are one of the slowest energies of the tarot deck. Okay. So even if it's a sure situation or a sure thing, they're going to take their time doing it. And you're feeling like, okay, well, I don't know where we stand. You know, I don't know what your intentions are because you're not telling me anything. You're just moving at, at a snail's pace. And I don't know whether we're committed. I don't know if this is going to be a stable situation or not. But you're still hanging on to this person because you're just not ready to let go of them yet. Okay. Um, also, they make like, I feel like you may be dealing with someone that has the attitude of it's my way or the highway for some of you. Someone wants to control the situation. Normally, night, um, the Knight of Coins shows up when there's an earth sign who's trying to just be in charge or be in control of the relationship and they don't, they don't want to give up. Um, they don't actually, they don't want to give up control. They want to be the one pulling the strings. Okay. They don't want you to tell them what to do, but they want to tell you what to do and how the relationship is going to go. Okay. But I'm feeling like some of you are getting tired of it. You're realizing it. You feel like someone's taking you for granted. They're taking advantage of you and you don't want to deal with it anymore. Some of you are definitely dealing with earth signs because there's a lot of coins um, in this reading. The next two cards I have for you is the six of coins and the nine of coins. Okay. You have your shit together, Virgos, and you don't need this person in your life, but you want them there. You want them around, okay? You can do perfectly fine by yourself is what this nine of coins is symbolizes, which is also um, the nine of pentacles in the original tarot deck. You are fine by yourself, okay? You don't really need them. You don't need them for anything, but you want them around. And that's what's really pissing you off the most because you're like, I could be doing fine by myself. And then here you come and I'm thinking this relationship is going somewhere. And then it comes to a halt and it's nothing. Okay. Um, you want a balanced, even give and take situation from your partner and you're not getting it right now. Okay. The next two cards that I have for you is the tower Oh, wow. You got the Tower and the Four of Cups. Yeah. Um, there could have been an argument between you and this person, Virgos, and things were really bad. Like, possibly um, some things were said that you didn't mean. Okay? Um, either you or your partner want to make things right, but someone is rejecting the other person right now. If it's you, Virgos, someone is offering you love or want to and you're rejecting them or you're willing to make up with someone and offer them love but they may not be responding to your messages or your your phone calls or you may be trying to hit them up in some way and they're just not talking to you okay because whenever you have the four of cups it's someone who sees the possibility of a relationship but they have their back turned to it all they're focusing on is what has happened that has pissed them off and they're just not ready to talk right now but they see the possibility of a relationship. So it's like whatever happened with this tower card, whatever change took place. Um, normally when the tower comes into a love reading, um, it could be just a changes and transformations. Um, you could have had an argument and you could have felt like it shook up your foundation. But there's some also there's some changes that need to take place in order for you guys to get on the right track as well. Okay. 
The next two cards I have for you is the Emperor. And you have the Two of Cups in the reverse. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries or some um, someone is very controlling. Yeah, see, I saw that um, early on in your reading, the cards that I pulled for you. And they only see things their way. It's like you could talk to them so they're blue in the face trying to get them to understand where you're coming from, but they don't get it. It's like if they can't control the relationship and how things are going, then they don't want it. I'm feeling like that two of cups is reversed and you and your partner um, are not seeing eye to eye because they want to run everything. And you're like, hell no, I'm not having it. Like, how are you running everything when you're barely here? You're running in the relationship, but you want to have a say in what goes. Okay. Because you do have the seven of wands here. And you have the eight of cups. So I'm feeling like some of you this month are standing your ground. Okay, you're tired of putting up with this person's crap, but you have the eight of cups in reverse. So it's like you're not actually walking away, but some of the things that this person has done to you in the past, they're not going to be able to get away with it when they come back. It's like some you're saying to yourself, something has to change and I'm, you, you're feeling like I got to stand my ground with this. Okay, some of you could possibly be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo or Sagittarius and you're standing your ground with them or it could be a water sign and it could be any sign. But you're standing your ground this month. You're like, okay, enough is enough. Like, I'm tired of putting up with your crap. I'm saying that, you know, you're being patient even though you're standing your ground because this Eight of Cups is here. So you're not really walking away. You're trying to see if this person's going to come back. But once they do come back, I'm feeling like some of you have a lot to say to this person. Like, you're going to get a lot off your chest, okay? Because you have the Page of Cups here. And you also have the Ace of Wands. Now, the Page of Cups um, is about messages, okay, being relayed. Also, it means someone going after what they want and bringing messages of love. So, with this Ace of Wands and this Page of Cups, somebody is coming back to offer you some love. But if they think that they're going to come back and everything is going to be the way it was when they left. See, like, somebody's coming back in and they don't know that you're like, no, mm -mm, some things got to change. So, you can come back in, but we need to have a talk, okay, per this page of cups. Because if you think you're just going to come back in and offer me some love and I'm just going to go for it and we're just going to pick up where we left off. And you're like, no, absolutely not, okay. And um, with this page of cups and ace of wands... Someone is going to think about the situation and have a change of perspective and how they view things. Because once they come back, you're going to be like, no, we need to get this straight. Like some things have to change or you can just go right back out the same way you came in because we're not going to keep doing this back and forth situation. But I'm feeling like with you standing up for yourself, Virgo, and telling this person this and letting them know that you're no longer going to take their crap. You have the sun card here and you have the ace of cuts. So you're going to actually get what you want, okay? The sun card is about brighter days to come. You could be dealing with the Leo because this is the Leo card. Um, also, with this Ace of Cups, I'm feeling like you're going to have a new beginning. For a lot of you, you need one. You have to have one. Like, things have to start over. You can't keep going the way you are. But when you get the Ace of Cups, it's all about new beginnings, resurgence of a relationship, um, fixing things, starting over. So I'm feeling like some of you are going to get the chance to do that, okay, this month because you're going to put your foot down. So this person that's coming back in, they're not going to have a choice. They're going to have to either get it right or you're going to just tell them, like, go right back out the way you came in or, like, don't call me no more because I'm not dealing with it, okay? So those are the messages that I have for your love and relationship reading, Virgos. I just want to say thank you for everyone who ordered a private reading from me this month. I really appreciate it. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram at my cards never lie tarot. Um, I drop cards daily on there for like the daily energy. Like sometimes it's more than one. Or sometimes it may just be one card that I pick out of the deck um, that I pull for the day. And also, you can follow me on Instant Go. And if you have a question that you want answered, you can reach out to me there. Okay? And I will see you guys next month. Bye.